Okay, so, um... Yeah, we have, uh, tackled another optional chapter, I think, if I recall correctly. Um... And it's actually already time for another! Um, yeah, they, they just kind of throw the optional chapters at you thick and fast at this point. Which... could be seen as annoying. Um, particularly because, if I recall correctly, there aren't any other optional chapters until the end of the game. Essentially after... this. I might be completely wrong on that point, but, um... It seems that new boy I don't think I am. I can't Obviously, we, we will see as we progress. Um... Now, what I am looking for is, um, yes, just checking what we have in there for some reason or another. I think I was potentially making sure I had everything, but either way. Now, before we do go straight into the next chapter, um, which you get by talking to that pacing knight um, before the entrance to the courtyard, uh, we are going to go out into Lazarus City and uh, do a little bit of digging around some things. Largely just because then... Just a, just a bit of housekeeping, really. Um, so if you head on over to Ariella's Tavern, uh, I believe it... Brings us closer to where we need to be. Oh, we, we, we wanted to go see Horace. Oh yes, because we need to return his book, of course. So, um, basically now we can remove curses from weapons. Um, so you've got weapons like Death, Flame Ripted and Phantom Sword. Um, and you need Light of the Outsiders to lift the curses from them. Um, now, if I recall correctly, Death is a very, very helpful weapon. Like, really stupidly helpful. Um, it's brilliant. <laughs> Can't quite remember whether it's going to stay with somebody throughout um, the rest of the game. Um... If anybody does keep it, it may end up being lull. Um, because not only is it a very good attack weapon, but it's also really good with magic. Um, and because lull has his berserker mode, death is actually perfect for him. In the kind of, I mean, especially for the chapter that we're about to go into. Um, if my memory is correct. Um, now basically what I was doing there was attempting to see if it was indeed better, and Wisdom Dagger is better than normal dagger. Um, it's annoying because like, in quite a lot of occasions I don't, I was kind of like hesitant to waste the money on the upgrade. Um, and then sometimes just ends up completely wasting them on, like, weapons like Speed Star. I mean, it's really difficult to tell what weapons will do you good, um, as you go through the game. Um, and for the most part, they don't really matter. Um, it's only when enemies have resistance or they heal from a certain element that your choice of weapon is going to cause you any grief. Other than that, it, large, it really doesn't kind of matter too much. Also, hey! Horace has been sneaking out and going on archaeological digs behind my back. He doesn't think I know about this, of course. Of course. Well, I suppose there's no helping it. He loves his archaeology so much, it would be cruel to try and stop him. Yes, it would. I'm just glad he spends more time uh, at home these days. That is always a Do very you know good thing to do, but uh, encourage him. So mum's the word. Righto. Um 
we, we, we will be going now. Um, because I believe that, yeah, that was essentially the only reason we left Lazarus Castle, was to sort that out. Um, basically you're going to want to do kind of a bit of housekeeping now, uh, before you begin the story again properly. Um, because it is another one of the moments where it takes you in and, uh, no, I do not want to go now, I want to go later, thank you. Um, yeah, you're going to not be coming back for a while. So, let us, um, go just make sure we're saved and all of that, and talk to this pacing knight. Want to see what he, see what he is, um, pacing about. What are we going to do? I don't Something know what, 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 what would be putting it lightly. Okay. Tell me what happened. Well, I shouldn't really discuss it out in the open. Could you talk to my colleagues in the castle depths? They'll tell you all about it. Okay. Right, Odor. I'll be right there. Um, you can get there from the courtyard if you didn't know. We have been to the castle depths before. Good sir knight. Um. <clears throat> We, we, we have had some dealings down there before. But yes, this is basically oh, out of... Oh, God's sake, stop going on yeah. about your bloody hair. Don't really care about the salty air and your blooming air. Anyway, so we go to the castle dungeon to talk to some other knights. And we will be into the next optional chapter. Um... As you can probably tell, this is going to take us a while. Um, some of which is actually the boss, um, because the, the the boss can take. They've been gone for. I have a really bad feeling. Oh dear. Let, let's find out what's going on here. What's wrong? Weren't all the reptids exterminated from this area? Well, actually. When we started moving, the island's cave system was affected quite badly. Now it's linked directly to the sea. Typical. So the Count dispatched a party to investigate reports of monsters infiltrating the island. But the party hasn't returned. I'll make sure they're all right. Thank you so much, Master Zale. We're all counting on you. So let's head off into our next optional chapter. Yay! That was the same before. The boss does take a little while. It's quite an interesting boss as well, so, so I look forward to getting to it. Uh -huh. Indeed, we are. Bloody hell, we're back here, Zale. I'm so cold, but please just hold me. Here, hold my hand, dear. Is that warm enough? Uh, get your filthy hands off me. That's well grim. Keep it down. They'll know we're here. You what? Oops. Seren, you really are just a master of staying quiet, aren't you? Um. Now, it's worthwhile kind of just looking around the area. Because there are some treasure chests which are new. Um, it's not that many of them. There's just the two. Um. You're gonna want to grab them because why, why would you n not want to grab treasure chests? Um, and I, yeah, I think this this is literally the o the only other one for now until we are until we get into the uh, chapter proper. So this is the place everyone was talking about. Yep. This is where it all started. We've come a long way since then. Earned ourselves status and respect. Especially Zale. They don't call him the saviour of Lazarus Island for nothing. Hey, I've not changed. I'm still here with you guys and I'm not about to leave. It's very true. Um, so, we want to uh, seek door. the door. Zale, check it out. I 
bet Seren's going to murder us. Because there was a door. And we couldn't get it open. Typical. Would you oh, just wow. look at that view? What? Crikey, don't push me. That is quite an impressive view. I mean, I, I have seen slightly more impressive, but that's still quite something. Careful, Zale. What are reptids doing there? Oh dear. Zale, of course there they're here. The side too. Let's split up. Okay. Um, so now you get to choose. Well, I don't think you technically get to choose which path you go down, I but um, down go down this path if you want to get everything. Yes. Um, don't want to stay here long. We won't stand a chance if we fall. Mm, this, this isn't going particularly well, is it? Um, basically, you're just going to want to run like the wind oh, the and the do lots of murdering. Shut up, Lol. If there are people in trouble, then I have to save them. Well, yeah, you're right, of course. Yeah. It's just that, you know. Recently, you've been rather reckless. It's hard to bear seeing you act like that. That's right. Look, I know it's your life and all, but just don't get too cocky, okay? They have got a point. Yeah. Quite um, a few getting, getting cocky is up. never, Isn't ever a good thing. Um, the holes are so close together. You generally end up we'll suffering a horrible fate because go? of your pride. Right. Mm. Um, so, yes, yeah, so we want to go into uh, this hole. Um, I don't think know whether we get a choice. Um, I think you might do. Um, but we're on our own again. It's always lovely when we end up on our own, isn't it? You always know something's gonna go wrong. I'm not going to get him alone, am I? Oh well. Well, at least I dealt with them pretty quickly. I um, think if you kind of properly alert them, they will call more reptids to come in and attack you. Um, but... Yes, I also believe that we will um, run... Event well, eventually reach... I'm outnumbered. Where we were before in the Reptid Caves, and um, this is just a slightly different area of it. Also, this area is huge, and there are lots of enemies. I'd better use it well if I'm going to survive. I could destroy that pillar. Yes, we, we, we could destroy that pillar um, with some burst arrows. Um, I don't quite know how successful this is going to go. Um, Clearly not very successfully. Um, I am a terrible shot. Oh, you know we we could we could do that. Um, yeah, th at this point, yeah, I kind of accidentally dropped. So this was a this this is basically now just a an attempt to survive because everything is trying to murder us. And there are a lot of enemies. And I mean a lot of enemies. If you can help it, do not fall down. Um, destroy them with the pillars. Um, because this is a very, very dangerous position to be in. And I do mean that seriously. I mean, it's not as hard as it could be, because you do have the heal circle, well, the healing spring here, um, which is particularly helpful. Um, 
but knocking the pillars down is a very, very good idea. Also, kind of, we are basically going to be getting gnome silvers from this point onwards for a while, which is very, very nice. Um, now let's just go do a bit of cleaning up, and uh, then we will talk to the knights and hopefully help them out. Also, pick up the chest that, um, which is just, just over here, not very well hidden. Typical, I upgraded those. It's one of the slightly annoying things, is that commonly you will find kind of armor that is above what you have upgraded to, but yeah. You have my word. I heard monsters swim these waters. Be careful. May the light of Lazarus be with you. Um, kind of technically is, you know. Um. More enemies. Hello, stranger. Hey. Don't, you, Don't scare me like that. <laughs> Good old sorry, low. Sorry. Now let's kick some raptor ass. Um, so yes, gradually we will meet up with the rest of the crew. Um, it's generally how these missions work. <laughs> oh yeah, I helped a wounded knight back there. Should be back at the castle by now. That is very, very good. I'm not quite sure how many we have left. On, son. Oh, it's been forever since I've heard someone say something like that. Um... It's largely because of the, it, it, it's a kind of common saying up north, like, go on, my son, go on, my son. It's, I think it's generally, come on, my son, or something to that extent. Um, it is generally something that is said up quite a lot up north, I think. It's been a long time since I've been um, up north. Um, and for people who live in America and don't quite understand what the hell I'm blathering on about, um, in the UK you generally have quite a few different, well, you have quite a few accents in the UK, as you can evidently see in a game like this, and also even in the likes of like Nino Kuni. Anything with kind of British voice acting, really. British TV shows as well. Um, but essentially, um, you also have lots of different idioms. Um, that, like, you won't find in other bits of the country. So, like, um, A Up Me Duck is um, an idiom from my hometown. And it has its variants around the UK. Um, so there's one place where it's A up Chuck. Um, and so on. Anyway, we've just um, got Zale's spirit attack. Well, spirit power, I should say. That was Moronia. Which is uh, accelerate, which basically means that we can speed up everything um, for a period of time. No, I'll protect Moronia. Which is helpful. Also, Marania! Quite glad you're here. Because. Always nice to have a healer. So, this is the reason why you're going to want to give Lowell a weapon like Death, that has a good physical attack, as well as, um, the good magic attack, because when you face the sea reptids, you are up against, um, enemies that will absorb Lol's ice magic, which is really frustrating. It's even more annoying when you've got a weapon of that element, which then 
every time you hit them it heals them and if you sold off all your other weapons it's always fun I, I think one time that I remembered that happening um, not in necessarily in this game um, but when I played Tales of Symphonia for the first time I um, was basically going through selling weapons as, as kind of I bought new ones and I was just about at the Undini fight I was under leveled and the weapon that I was given to Kratos was um, well, Kratos I should say it's better pronunciation um, was a water based weapon so basically as he was attacking he was healing her oh, thank and you, yeah that kind of screwed me over quite so quickly uh, hello ah Noel you're here too oh dear Marania thank you very much for helping me <laughs> did you just look um, no no definitely not definitely definitely not um <laughs> Now, if we run back the way that Morania came in, I believe we can um, find a chest back here. Um, th there's lots of hidden little things in this place, so it it's very easy to miss things. Especially when you have to do all this backtracking to find things. So, yeah, chest all the way back here with the light of the outsider, so it it's somewhat worth coming back here. Um, I believe we may have to do this kind of like one other time where someone's come in through a different entrance and we have to run and pick, the, pick up the item that's hidden all the way back there. Something's odd about that wall. Whoa. Yes, I think we should Marania, probably did check you it out. And no, I didn't. What? Are they lost? Well, that's the captain and the alcoholic for you. Hope we can find them somewhere. As do I. Um, and if my intuition is correct, they're right through this wall, and so they are. Yay! You're always like you. Help us, you idiot. That's what I'm doing, Saran. As you can see, I hate Sticky. It's like one of the most infuriating things I have ever had the misfortune of having to deal with. It just slugs everything down. Well, it slows everything down to a sluggish paste would be a uh, better thing to call it, but either way, it's just annoying. Also, what a dick inflicting death on me. Well, that's only something I should be able to do to you. Totally not having any double standards whatsoever, you know? Now, as you can see, we are going to have a nice, powerful... Um, well, not nice, powerful... Spirit attack, but we're going to have the spirit attack available to us very, very soon, which is always helpful. Because it means we actually get to have a successful attack, um, rather than just kind of waiting to use it. Also, we need to go through the actual main door to get where we need to go. And it's just through here. And, you know, a loading screen, because we, we can't go anywhere without one of those. But yeah, we're about to get to a rather annoying bit of this um, did chapter. You, did you save anyone? All we saw were reptiles. We saved quite a few I people, actually. Well saved one. I see. There should be one more, if I heard right. Stay on your toes. Yes, sir. Indeed. Huh. You don't sound like you want to save this guy. A 
Lol, I have to say, um, I'm not really a fan of where you're holding that scythe. Um, kind of slightly questionable, maybe? It's awfully quiet. It's not going to stay that way, you know. Told you! Don't touch my hair! More against that wall! I absolutely hate it whenever I have to shake the bloody control stick. Like, th th there is nothing more irritating than control stick wiggling in the middle of a fight like this. I mean, it's one of the things that I love so much about Bayonetta is that there's very little of that. Also, let, let, let's just get Dagron over there very quickly. Death Sentence is an excellent thing of teleporting power, so uh, using it is a good idea. Yeah, take that. And he's not going to stay down there. That's wonderful. Although it di we did manage to kill everything, so six and two threes, really. Um... But, yeah, we now have a... Uh... Oh, we have a chest. Always love a good chest. Said totally without intention of any sort of innuendo. Ever. Um, but, yes, this bit here is really quite annoying because... You have the um, sea reptids that are in the water. You've got a very narrow kind of pathway, and you've got mages attacking you at the same time. Because that's just so wonderfully helpful. Um, thankfully, um, as long as you set it up right, you can kill them all relatively quickly. Um, and also, as soon as you're done with this fight, um, you can use it as a place to level up. Because there aren't any summon circles in this chapter, um, so this essentially acts as your summon circle. I don't know why, I, just, I was just like, yes, paralysis arrow, this is an excellent idea. Um, Right, let's finish up and get out of this manky place. So, yes, I, I did a little bit of levelling up. Um, just get everyone up to level 34 at least. Um, also making use of shooting to uh, pick up items. It's a great tactic, and I didn't use, any, use it at all when I first played the game. Shows you how far I've come. But yeah, we are now at the boss. And this is going to be interesting, I think. <laughs> so, I guess this is where they're coming in from. Help me! <sighs> oh dear. That's not good. It's definitely not good. So, here we have the Kraken, which is rather irritating to defeat. Um, it's got lots of tentacles that are trying to pick you up and throw you about. Um, I mean, thankfully the tentacles don't go down quite easily. Um, but it's what happens afterwards that can be slightly frustrating. Um, generally, it's a good idea to kind of wait until you, after you've gotten rid of everything, um, because once you have removed the tentacles, the Kraken is going to, uh, destroy the ceiling and try and kill everybody. Um, it is weak to forest, so do make use of that, and also... If you use Gale, you can get a super powerful slash attack on it. And um, then it is going to disappear and you're going to have to kill its tentacles again. Um, 
it's a surprisingly easy boss, um, other than its mass ceiling collapse move. Because, um, you know, it, it, it it's a firing its laser, and that laser is at the ceiling, and so rocks down, smashing everything, but that is the source of its downfall, as it has very little choice at uh, surviving a nice slash to the face. Run, the ceiling's collapsing. Oh, I don't want to be squished. Now, uh... Yeah, that, that, that's why you, you make sure to guard when you are uh, doing this. And also aim properly when you are trying to use your slash. That's the spirit sail. Um, so it, it, it shouldn't take you too long to show this crack and what you're made of. Um, I do quite like this fight. Um, it's a nice little change of pace after kind of a bunch of other more infuriating bosses. Um, I mean, Nebarus was a pain. The Queen of the Abyss can be a pain. Um, th 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 this is just quite fun. Apart from, you know, the whole ceiling collapsing thing. I think let's let's see how good a death sentence does on him. I, I think he, he he might not survive for very long. Good to see you Get in there with a vertical slice. I don't even need to get in there with a vertical slice, it's already dead. Oh yeah. And we get the grand swell, which is a great weapon against spiders, if I recall correctly. Pity we couldn't save everyone. I know. So sad. We did our best. <sighs> He's alive! Oh yeah! He swallowed a lot of water, but he'll live. Success. Come on, guys. Let's go home. <sighs> so ended the skirmish in the sea cave. As the rush of battle left them, Zael and the others breathed a sigh of relief. They made the journey back to Lazarus Castle in higher spirits than before. Hurrah! So everything looks like it's going somewhat okay. Um, and I believe we may be continuing the story now. Um, don't quote me on that, but we will see. Um, either way, it's time to continue onwards. 